very much, Karine, as always. Admiral, thank you. Um, I want to ask one question about Ukraine's strategy and, and one question about the series of national security leaks that were first detected in early April, if I may. Uh, on Ukraine, I wonder if you could explain um, a little more um, why it is that the United States um, urges Ukraine against the conduct of cross-border operations. Uh, wouldn't it be the swiftest way to bring this war to a conclusion if Russia were made to feel even a fraction of the kind of pain that it has inflicted on Ukrainian territory? We have been pretty consistent about, about this, James. Uh, about we don't... The rationale is what I'm asking. We've been consistent about the rationale, too. I think we can all agree, um, no matter where you stand uh, on the war in Ukraine, that having it, um, having it escalate uh, to be exactly what Putin has claimed it to be from the beginning, a fight against the West versus Russia or United States versus Russia or NATO versus Russia, is not good for anybody. It's certainly not good for the Ukrainian people. It's not good for our European allies and partners. It's not good for the Russian people. Um, so we don't want to see this war escalate beyond the degree that it's escalated before. And that's been our justification since the very beginning. On the national security leaks, um, I wonder if you have today any better sense of how damaging to national security they were. I ask this because I was struck by the divergence, if you will, in your comments and those from <laughs> President Biden on the subject. You came to this room and you pleaded with all of us not to publish this material, even if we came into possession of it, presumably because of the damage it would cause. Uh, and in fact, even in, in court filings, in the ongoing prosecution, federal prosecutors are referring to the great damage caused and the potential for greater damage. And yet we saw President Biden say that there was nothing of great consequence in these leaks. How could that be true? Both are true. Uh, that, uh, first of all, when I, we made those comments, it was at the very beginning of these disclosures. We didn't know the full scope of what was out there. We didn't know what hadn't, hadn't been made public yet. Um, and the classification on uh, a lot of this intelligence uh, gave us a proper pause uh, for concern. And I still would make the same point I made before. We would urge you not to publish this material. We don't think that this, this material belongs in the public domain. That said, the more we have come to learn over time, and this is what the President was referring to, uh, is that um, much of the information that's out there, and I say this with the caveat, James, that I s still don't think we know for sure that there isn't more coming. But what we've seen thus far, now weeks afterward, it's, uh, it's a snapshot in time, a very distinct period of time, six, eight weeks worth, uh, and certainly events and follow-on intelligence assessments have simply moved on from where those assessments were, those ones that were, uh, that were published. The other thing I'd say is that many of them were based on unfinished intelligence. Uh, 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 it's no different than, in many ways, the way you guys do your job. When you, when you get a source that tells you something, you do the right thing and you follow it up and you check it with two or three other sources until you triangulate yourselves and get where you're comfortable with what you've got, right? Well, a lot of that information was based on, uh, on early reporting that had not been corroborated. How can you tell us that you are not sure that there isn't more material coming? You have not turned off this spigot, even with the arrest of this airman? Mm -hmm. I, what I can tell you is uh, we, we can't say definitively that there couldn't be more documents out there, James. I, I wish we could have a different answer to your question, but, uh, but that's, the, that's the honest answer. Now, we, don't, we haven't seen many more disclosures uh, in recent weeks, um, so that's a positive, but it's not like we're going to uh, go whistling past the graveyard and just say, okay, we're done. I mean, we're going to keep looking. Yeah, 